गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर नाजिज्म एंड द राइज ऑफ हिटलर एंड टूडे द टॉपिक विच वी हैव टू डिस्कस इज द स्टेप्स टू डेथ इन नाजी जर्मनी सो दिस इज द टॉपिक इन दिस द थ्री स्टेजेस आर देयर फर्स्ट स्टेज इज एक्सक्लूजन नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी नाइन दिस वॉज द पीरियड एंड इन दिस द आइडिया वॉज यू हैव नो राइट टू लिव अमंग अस एज सिटीजन सो द जूश पीपल दे वर डिनाइड द सिटीजनशिप राइट्स and then the stage 2 ghettoization in uh, the period here is 1942 44 and here the idea is you have no right to live among us so the separate uh, areas are demarcated where the jewish people will be living so that phase was called or that stage was called ghettoization then the stage 3 annihilation that is the period 1941 onwards and in this you have the idea was you have no right to live so this was the only idea you have no right to live so uh, students if we see the stage 1 exclusion that is you have no right to live among us as citizens here jews were not allowed to live along with the german uh, citizens and then uh, certain citizenship laws were given in september 1935 according to which only german citizens would enjoy the protection of the german Uh, german empire and marriages between uh, jewish people and german they were banned extramarital affairs between the jewish people and the german they were also uh, prohibited and jews were not allowed to fly the german national flag and then um, various measures were also taken against the uh, jewish people like the boycott of the jewish business their businesses were boycotted that is the economic boycott uh social boycott expul uh, expulsion from the government services then uh, forced selling and confiscation of their properties before they enter ghettos then uh the properties their properties were damaged uh, it was uh, looted their houses were attacked and their religious places were also burned so this uh, these all uh, things uh, occurred during the uh, first stage and now the second stage that is ghettoization so in this uh, students uh, ghettoization ghettos means the specially demarcated areas where all this uh, minority communities will be living and very bad conditions uh, used to be there in this ghettos so now under this stage i have told you the idea was uh, you have no right to live among us so uh, ghettos were specially demarcated areas i have told you where uh, the jewish were living and from 1941 onwards all jews has to wear a yellow star on their chest and their uh, identity this identity mark was also stamped on their passport all the legal documents that is this yellow star and they have to surrender all their properties before they enter a ghetto and in ghettos also uh, students uh, very bad conditions were there and in your book students you can see uh the picture is given in your ncert book and there also uh, the people don't have anything to sell to survive so overcrowded areas and hygienic conditions sanitation problems were there in these ghettos and uh, ghettos uh, became the site of extreme poverty and misery and the final stage annihilation means the complete destruction by 1841 onwards so now here now the nazis will kill all those undesirable people that is jewish polish russians blacks gypsies and uh, you can see the pictures are there in your ncert book where piles of cloth are there you can see the shoes which are taken from these prisoners before uh, killing them then the pictures are also there of the concentration camps so finally in this stage uh, the all these people all these communities the ethnic communities were taken to the gas chambers and uh, you can see the concentration camp pictures are given where the prisoners are escaping but they won't be because uh, these concentration camps were surrounded by the barbed wires and then uh, we have seen the beautiful picture is also given of the concentration camp uh, that is the view from outside uh, can look so good uh, so beautiful but inside reality everyone was knowing what was happening inside so these were the uh, stages of the the steps to death in 
Nazi. So different different stages we have seen. Now the next topic is students youth in Nazi Germany. So in this uh, students uh, Hitler he was madly interested in the youth of his country because he was aware that to inculcate the Nazi ideology among the children he has to control them uh, in and outside the school. So uh, total control over the school he has taken and he wanted that from very beginning the Nazi ideology should be taught to the students. Then the clarification of the schools is started, that is the elimination of all the undesirable uh, elements, that is un politically unreliable people, the Jewish people, the Jewish teachers, uh, they were expelled from their uh, jobs, that is they were dismissed from their jobs, all the Jewish teachers, they lost their jobs under this purification program which started and the Jewish uh, children and the German children they cannot uh, sit together play together and the Jewish uh, students also were uh, thrown out of the schools under the purifications so uh, this was the mindset this was the sick mindset of this person that he has thrown the innocent Jewish students also out of the school then he introduced the new education policy that is he changed the curriculum uh, of the schools of different grades he changed the curriculum he introduced the new textbook he introduced uh, new kind of uh, subjects like the racial science was introduced so all he was uh, doing uh, to educate the desirable RNs, the good german uh, children so that uh, the nazi ideology can be inculcated them from the very beginning so these kind of steps he was taking because he wanted to control the youth of Germany also uh, from the very beginning. Then the division of life uh, means the different different uh, organizations, uh, groups were set up that uh, when the child attains the age of 10 to 14 years, then Zunk Walk uh, was the one uh, group, the organization where the child will be going and there the different training programs and the uh, teaching programs will be carried out and different kind of support, sports will be taught to the uh, children like uh, he was very interested in rest, uh, boxing and all because it make uh, the children the boys especially the brave steel-hearted aggressive and then after that uh, the hitler youth was the organization from which the child will be going once the child attains the age of 14 years till 18 years and then after that once the child attains the age of 18 years then army that child has to serve so then hitler youth so this was the organization where uh, the children were taught to be aggressive uh, to be obedient to hate jewish people communist people and to worship hitler so uh, this was taught here means the nazi ideas were inculcated in them and they were taught that that you have to hate Jewish people, you have to hate democracy, you have to hate communist people and you have only listened to Hitler and you have to worship Hitler. So students, uh, today now we have to discuss the Hitler, Hitler policy towards the woman. Uh, what kind of uh, Nazi cult was there regarding the womanhood? So this we have to see. Now uh, in this, uh, he was uh, again very interested in the, uh, in the woman of his uh, country because he used to say that a uh, woman are the most important citizens of Germany because they have to uh, rear the pure blooded Aryan children so they are the most important citizens of the Germany according to Hitler so here the superiority of the men so for the children were uh, told from the beginning only that uh, the men were more superior and they were against the uh, democratic rights for the women. So Nazis were against any, any of the democratic rights for the women and uh, the men required to be more aggressive, more brave and steel-hearted, whereas uh, the woman has to just, uh, uh, has to bear the Aryan race. They have to inculcate the Nazi values and they have to uh, rear the Aryan children, the pure-blooded Aryan children. This was the uh, role of the girls in Nazi Germany. So the next point is the role of the girls and the role of the girls. It is the duty of the uh, girl uh, to rear the pure-blooded Aryan children. So this was uh, her duty and she has to inculcate the value uh, of Nazi ideology, Nazi values uh, from the beginning in the 
child so this was the duty at home she has to take care of the home and the men need to be more aggressive brave and steel hearted and it is the duty of the woman to stay at home and inculcate the nazi values among the uh, pure blooded aryan children then after that uh, the awards and punishments were also there that is the woman who will produce the pure blooded aryan children will be uh, awarded and those who will uh, produce undesirable uh, children those women will be punished so concessions were given to the women who produce the pure aryan blooded children like in markets concessions were given in hospitals also the uh, favor treatments were given to such kind of women the relaxation concessions in the cinema tickets in the markets so uh, these kind of uh, favorite treatment were given to the uh, women who will produce the racially desirable pure blooded aryan children then uh, a principle of majoritarianism that is uh, the majority community can rule in whichever wishes by disregarding the minority community so same thing were happening in nazi germany also the women who will produce the uh, desirable children will be honored with the honor crosses medals were given like bronze medal for uh, producing four uh, pure blooded aryan children and then uh, six of, uh, if six children uh, she is giving birth then the silver uh, cross will be given and for eight children or more the gold cross will be given so this kind of uh, uh, honors were given to the women who were producing rearing the racially desirable children then the co uh, last point is code of conduct for the women here uh, the code of conducts were there in the nazi germany certain do's and don'ts were there and if the women deviate from a respective code then they will be punished uh, their uh, faces will be blackened their hearts will be shaved and the placard will be there in their neck which uh, on which it is written i have damaged the uh, prestige of my uh, nation i have damaged the honor of my uh, nation so i have brought the bad name to my nation so these kind of things will be written and she will be uh, paraded in the streets those who will deviate from the code of conduct so it was very important for the woman to follow the code of conduct uh, she can't maintain any relation with the uh the people of the men of uh, other communities jewish people russian polish people so she has to uh, maintain the distance from these kind of uh, communities so this was the code of conduct now uh, in art of uh, propaganda students we have to discuss that uh, how the nazis uh, they used to create hatred for the jewish people or uh, what kind of uh, terms they used to use for the nazis to uh, for the jewish people to create hatred among the uh, germans so nazi students were very well versed with the uh, art of using words and whatever was happening in germany was not justified in the name of national honor killing the large number of innocent people on the name of national honor cannot be justified this is the crime against humanities but nazis were telling all uh, the wrong doings as right that whatever they are doing it is justified in the name of national honor their practices were misleading but whatever words they were using to describe them was very uh, cool here uh, so like mass killing they used to term it as a uh, special treatment that they were killing the people on the last scale but they used to say that this is a special treatment or the final solution we are giving to the ethnic communities like jewish people jew community jewish community so uh, euthanasia is for the disabled people i have told you earlier also that uh, the disabled even if they were uh, pure blooded german aryans if they are uh, disabled then they are also not required in germany so euthanasia program was carried out under which they they used to uh, kill these kind of undesirable uh, people then evacuation means deporting the people to the gas chamber so this was the term which was used and uh, nazis never used the word kill or murder in their official communication so the things were misleading the facts were distorted 
and shone in different light to the world like uh, for gas chambers they used to use the word uh, disinfection areas so taking people to the gas chamber for final solution was called evacuation and students the gas chamber also looked like the bathrooms where the fake shower heads uh, were there and the people used to uh, suffocate they used to suffocate the people there to death so uh, then the use of media so this was how the nazi propaganda was there against the jewish people codes words they used to use like evaluation evacuation uh, final solution special treatment euthanasia so then the use of media so media was also uh, with hitler only they were spreading the nazi propaganda they used to uh, praise hitler a lot and nazi ideas were spread to through films videos images radios posters leaflets catchy slogans and then animal enemies of the nazis or the germans were abused they were mocked and they were described as the evils and now uh, the socialists and liberals they were also represented as corrupt and foreign agents and the propaganda films were also made to create hatred against the jewish people like the eternal jew and then uh jews but jews were also treated like rats pest and vermin and their movements were also compared to the rodents and the nazism worked on the mind of the people and their emotions so nazis made all efforts to convince the population that nazis alone could solve their problem so this was convince uh, to the people that nazism or the nazis their policies only could save them from all the outside and foreign influences and nazis could only solve their problems and can bring prosperity to them so now students we have to see uh, what the jewish people they felt in the nazi germany so uh, the charlotte uh, badert uh, the author uh, sh she has written she has seen uh, whatever was happening in germany and she secretly recorded the people's dream in her uh, diary entries and later she published them in her uh, book called the third reach of dreams so in her book uh she wrote about the problems uh, what kind of cruelties in justice the jewish people they faced and jewish people also themselves started believing in their images which were fixed by the nazis and all these images which were published in the nazi press haunted the jews and their hooked nose their black hair their eyes uh the jews looks and the body movements all the you they started believing that whatever nazis they were publishing it is right only and jews uh, jews people the jewish people they died many deaths before they reached to the gas chamber now knowledge about the holocaust student holocaust means the systematic state sponsored killings this we have seen of the uh, jewish people in other communities by the nazi germany under the shadow of the second world war so here uh, holocaust means the mass killing only of the innocent people this we have seen how they were killing the jewish communities and other people so uh, the world got the record of all this genocide of the jews people after the second world war so what was happening during second world war the world was not aware so after the second world war only uh, the people they came to know what was happening under the nazi germany so most of the information about the nazi practices they came after out, out of the germany after the second world war only and jews wanted the world to remember whatever cruelties the nazi germany has done on them and during the nazi killing operation and the jews used to say to each other uh, in the ghettos the inhabitants they used to see that just half an hour is required to tell to the world about what happened under the na nazi germany that we should live outlive the war just for half an hour so that we can tell to the world what was happening under the shadow of the second world war what the hitler and the nazis were doing with the innocent people and the jews wanted to tell to the world that they suffered uh, so much cruelties injustice exploitation humiliation and they uh, for this uh, they wrote diaries Uh, they kept the notebooks they created the archives and uh, you can see the pictures also in your book of the milk can in which the use uh, used to keep the secrets of the nazis so that 
So uh, in your uh, book also you can see the picture of the milk can in which uh, the Jewish people used to keep all the secrets against the Nazi people and when Germany almost lost in the second world war the Nazi leadership distributed the petrol also so that all the evidences can be destroyed regarding the Nazis yet the memories of the holocaust live in the form of poetry fiction is there and museums in many part of the world and these are the tribute to those who resisted it those who opposed it and embarrassing that is a shameful reminder to those who collaborated that is those who participated in this mass killing operations and a warning to those who watched in silence